on my side of it that aren't veterinarians, that aren't medically trained. <laughs> we have animals with issues and we find holistic medicine and then we realize, oh my goodness, I need to be applying this to me as well and my family. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's kind of opposite, but then there are those people like you who, who started on the human side. Um, and I think that either way you get there, the fact that you get there <laughs> is, is um, incredible and the most rewarding part because um, I, it's, it's such a shame that our society just doesn't, in general, put a whole lot of um, credibility into holistic medicine. I don't know about you, but I see a lot of negativity anytime I post anything holistic based on social media. It's, you know, the, the trolls are yeah. there. <laughs> yes, they are. And, you know, it's, here's, I always say we do the best we can with the information we have at the time. And I've been there, like I've had three pets that have gone through cancer. So I've had my own pets through this journey too. And, you know, my two cats were at the very beginning um, and I didn't have a lot of these tools. And then our dog developed a brain tumor. He started having seizures and thank goodness I had tools to help him because we were told there's nothing else you can do and to just take him home and bring him back in a week. And we were able to gain an additional year of life. So, you know, being on both sides, but also being so grateful that these, that I had the skills and knowledge to be able to not say like there was nothing else and, you know, put him down, but going back to like, I mean, colleagues also, this is why I've kind of come to my own business too, because working in a conventional setting and wanting to integrate in a lot of these holistic modalities, I think what happens is the conventional side looks at hol holistic, right, as mm -hmm. not science-based. And the problem is, is when we look at a holistic approach and we look at a conventional approach, so you'll hear like Eastern versus Western medicine. And the way I approach it is it, it's not one or the other. We can integrate them together and that gives us the best results. But the big difference is, and also why we get a lot better results when we look at holistic or an Eastern medicine approach is that we're actually looking at the whole body. So I always say holistic with a W because everything's interconnected. And this is the hard part with a lot of the way that the studies are set up is that we have a drug to treat a symptom, but when we look at a pet or we look at ourselves from a holistic perspective, you have different environments, you have different foods coming in, you have different stress levels, you have a different microbiome imbalance. And so being able to say like this supplement or this herb works the same way for every person, we're actually like, we're doing a disservice to ourselves and we're we're not able to like that's the hard part about studying it from a traditional like scientific study and chinese herbal medicine doesn't work that way we can have the same disease we can have the same symptoms but that pet has a different underlying imbalance and i might use a different herbal supplement for this pet versus this pet who still has like cushings or diabetes because they have different patterns and so that's the hard part with it, but there is more and more science coming out, which is good. But I think the biggest thing too, is that for people that are looking at us and saying, this is all woo woo medicine, it doesn't work. We have to go and look at conventional medicine and it has its time and place. And it's important for acute symptom care or emergencies. Mm -hmm. That's where it should be utilized. You know, if your pet gets hit by a car, you want to go into the vet clinic and have care right away. You know, you need to support them, stabilize them with conventional drugs. However, we're only treating symptoms. We're not using a drug to fix the root imbalance of why that happened in the first place. So allergies are a great example, and they're one of the most frustrating conditions to treat when you only use conventional medication to treat it. And a lot of times it comes down to a gut health issue. There might be a yeast overgrowth. We could have heavy metals. We do a lot of heavy metal testing through hair tests. And that was the missing link that we didn't know about. And when we heal that and we help the detox pathways because we looked at the whole system, all of a sudden the allergies go away and that pet's more comfortable. We didn't have to keep them on drugs like Apoquel or Cytopoint injections. Sometimes we need to use it short term to give that pet comfort. But this is where looking at the body as a whole is so different. And 
it's just a mindset shift and we're not taught that way. So it's a huge change for a lot of people that have never been exposed to it before, or were forced to go down this path because of developing, you know, autoimmune disease, like our, our journey of stumbling upon something, we needed a solution and conventional medicine was not. Yeah. Working.